In this video, you're about to meet Amad, one of our clients who already had a solid academic background in electrical engineering, but felt stuck working as a testing technologist. Now, despite holding a master's degree, Amad realized that he didn't have the practical real world control skills or the confidence to step into a proper controls engineering role. Now, since joining the program, Amad has quickly progressed from having only a basic understanding of controls to feeling genuinely confident of the first phase of his development, which is electrical schematics. And that's before even deepening his understanding and knowledge with panel building, fault finding and design, where he'll be building the complete skill set needed to step into a full controls engineering role. And in Ahmad's own words, he says that the real world scenarios in the program gave me a completely new perspective on how to actually think like a controls engineer. Now, right now, Ahmad is preparing to move from his current role into a controls engineering position and ultimately his goal is to one day run his own own consultancy business so without further ado let's dive into the conversation would you mind introducing yourself and tell explain what position you you held or still hold um when you joined the program all right so a bit about myself like i've done my um undergrad um uh, in electrical engineering from dubai and then I came to Canada for my grad studies, where I completed my master's in electrical and control engineering. After that, I started, when I joined the program, I was working as a testing technologist, electrical testing technologist for a company called Next Hydrogen. And uh, currently I'm still enrolled. I'm still working for the same company, but uh, in terms of career progression like in terms of getting the technical competency and skills uh i i feel that uh, like i'm getting there so sooner or later i think i might uh, be landing with a good uh, potential opportunity as an electrical control engineer in the near future so excellent so that was the idea of joining the program so uh, it was just the idea of polishing my skills and getting me prepared for the next uh, big opportunity which was that i do see myself as working one day as a control engineer so that's why i joined the program so is that are you looking to progress to a controls engineer within the business that you're working for or are you looking to jump ship and land a position elsewhere uh, elsewhere and then eventually uh, once I get a hang of the job uh, and uh, once I feel I'm confident enough and then I can probably work uh, on my own like as a, as a business owner. You know? What made you consider joining the program in the first place? Was it was it because of that reason you want to progress to becoming a controls engineer? Yes. So it was because of that and then initially when you are in your early days in your career, you're also looking for the skills that you'll be needing and the knowledge that you'll be requiring in order to make that pro career progression. And um, I think I've viewed like many um, courses or websites or institutions that do offer that training. So I kind of, uh, once I went through your courses and trainings and catalog, I felt that that closely aligns with what the industry trends are and what is needed for you to progress or to make it big as an electrical consultant. So that's why I opted for your program. And how far off do you feel you are before you start applying for electrical control engineering roles? Is the technical understanding there yet, do you feel? Yes, so currently I'm on the... Uh, control panel specialist course. I've just completed my wiring schematics, so electrical yeah. wiring schematic, which is the first step. So I feel that once I've completed the control panel specialist and then the design uh, course, then I think I'll be more confident of uh, handling uh, uh, interviews or even the job tasks or assignments that are aligned that once once I get hired as an electrical control engineer. Right. And if you had to rate your confidence in terms of electrical controls on a scale of one to ten, when you when you join the program to where it is now, like 
where would you say it was and where would you say it is now? Uh, I did have a basic understanding of the controls before I joined the program. So I would say I, a very rudimentary, I would say it was, a, I would say out of 10, it would be three. Uh, once I joined the program after doing that wiring schematics course, I think it's jumped to six out of 10. And I feel that once I finish the other two courses, the control panel specialist and the build specialist and the design course, I think it should easily take it to nine or 10. It's just Oscar's that you cannot, I'm not giving a perfect 10. It's just that you can never know much about this field. That's the beauty of it. You can always, uh, Keep, uh, there's always room for knowledge and new things coming up, so that's why I'm not giving it yeah. to them. Yeah, mate, you can, you can never learn everything within this industry. That's that's the beauty of it. That's why I love it so much because you can always learn something more. You can always go deeper down a rabbit hole and and explore something further. You know, it's it's brilliant for people that like learning and get bored easily. Yes. It's it's brilliant. Do you see? this because i think when we first had the initial call if i remember correctly you're perhaps a little bit hesitant moving forward with this program which is fair enough you know you've not met me i'm just someone on the internet and did you had you invested in an online program before or was this the first one uh, probably i think this was the first one that's why i was a bit hesitant initially to um, kind of invest in it but i do feel i think uh, it's been the right decision so far like in terms of the wiring schematic i think i did have an idea initially how to read wiring schematics because i had been working uh, in my previous company as a electrical tech electrical technologist and my activities were pretty much related to pre-commissioning and commissioning related so we had to yeah. go through schematics but it just gave me a different perspective of look, looking at things like for example over there i was just new into the job so i was just following the schematics as it is but what were they trying to convey is yes. something which uh, which i learned from the course itself like they do etch a story which you later on need in order to troubleshoot uh, in order to make some design updates that can come up later on so or potential design updates. So this is something which I, I, I got a fresh perspective from doing that course. So that that initial hesitancy, you know, from not investing in an online program, maybe you weren't one hundred percent confident that this was going to be right for you. Would you say, from going through, you know, you haven't been through all of it yet, but would you say from what you have been through that this has been a worthwhile investment for you? Yes, uh, definitely. It's been uh, it's been a very worthwhile investment, and uh, since I'd had a f good experience with the first course itself, so I'm I'm confident. I think once I oversee the other courses as well, uh, the other steps for the control specialist program, uh, I think it's gonna it's gonna make every investment what I've made uh, the count, and uh, it's it's gonna be definitely useful. Yeah, because that's the thing, isn't it, man? Like, is with with what your goal was to initially advance your career to becoming an electrical controls engineer, and then after a bit of time, advance to you know being a, a business owner, a consultant doing electrical controls. That's ultimately what you were investing in, right? That the ability to have that outcome. And do you feel confident now? with the program that you can achieve that outcome it's just a yes. matter of time uh yes i can um because your program i think uh, besides providing technical competency it also kind of provides you with an insight of how to take care of matters which are non-technical -tech, uh, related uh, as well like in terms of getting through to the uh, getting through the interviews and the uh, resume building is something which you guys I haven't gone through it, but seeing that in that uh, in that in being it part of the program also kind of uh, maximizes chances of uh, yeah um, for in my case for making it uh, as an electrical controls engineer. What if you had to pick like one or two things 
And I know you haven't been through all the program yet, but just from what you have been through, one or two things that have helped you the most, what would they be? Some things, schematics, of course. Um, I, I feel the way it was organ, uh, the way it has been structured has really provided me a good, with a good insight of how to go about reading the electrical schematics. I, the thing is that you've created certain scenarios in the uh, courses. Like, for example, I do remember one where you, for, for the metering purposes, you added that the customer wants to add a, a, a current transformer in the circuit. So how would you modify that uh, as a designer? So firstly, it's basically uh, making these small changes which do come from the client's uh, side and how can you incorporate them into the uh, into the actual original drawing itself, original schematic. And then uh, uh, there was another there was another point as well, like issues that I think there was one troubleshooting scenario where how we're using the schematics, you can actually come to the actual issue, the underlying issue that is causing the system to function in an abnormal way or not the usual way. So that's something that kind of uh, improves and consolidates on that concepts as well and as well uh, i think from the first few lectures itself if i recall correctly uh, you kind of explicitly mentioning that the schematics like more than just showing the components and the connections of how things are done they tell you the kind of hs story which uh, can later on help you in understanding how to kind of uh, make modifications and uh, truck and carry out your troubleshooting activities um, that can make the uh, make it very easy for you to do your job as well. So this is something which I've learned a lot, and also yeah, most importantly, going through the manuals like uh, the RTFM, <laughs> yeah, the RTFM, yeah, the RTFM, RTFM, yeah, yeah, but in a smart way because I had the impression like when I joined the uh, uh, joined the workforce, I had the intention uh i had the understanding or i would say lack of knowledge that the controls engineer go through every page of that manual uh just to get the job done and some manuals are uh like worth more than 100 pages so i wasn't really yeah. sure how do they skim through that and come to that underlying issue so the smart way of doing rtfm as well so uh, it's something which I, it was really like uh, beneficial for me and it's going to be definitely going to be helpful in the near future. The the scenarios specifically, do you feel like they've given you more confidence in your controls ability? Yes, uh, they have for surely. Uh, so um, like, as I mentioned about that current transformer and then uh, I think there was one related to a gas detector uh, where the customer wanted to, where the client wanted to add another gas detector into the uh, system. So I think those were like brilliantly uh, drafted. They were very realistic as well because I've seen such scenarios coming up uh, where I have worked previously. So uh, they kind of prepare you well for the uh, work, uh, make you like, I would say, industry ready like in terms of uh, real world stuff right real yes, world scenarios. exactly yeah so this is something which you would be eyeing or uh, looking for like so to get you better prepared for the next job opportunity that you're gonna be getting yeah well thank you for mentioning that mate um yeah oh, i'm glad i mean that's what they're designed for that was what they were designed for and they were designed to really well, the idea was to give you guys more confidence, you know, with real world scenarios and not just not just testing your memory, not like asking you to recall, you know, the size of a cable or the color of a cable or something stupid like that. That's meaningless. Yes. It's testing your knowledge and understanding, like how you think. That's the key thing, right? It's exactly. how do you think like a controls engineer? Right. That's exactly what. I've got the impression from the program right now, like the approach you take, the kind of building that approach, that mindset. And uh, for memory, yes, the theoretical side, you can always access it uh, by looking at it and you'll recall instantly what 
the kind of information you're missing but the approach and mindset comes with practice and by uh, getting into those scenarios so i think those scenarios were very well crafted and uh, uh, designed as well so they kind of make you industry ready and make you more confident for taking your next role as a in the controls industry well thanks for mentioning that mate final question amad what would you say to anyone that's potentially watching this video in the future that's considering joining the program what would you I would just say uh, if you are really serious of making it into the controls industry as a working for someone else or being self employed then you should uh, definitely go into this uh, buying the uh, control specialist program get yourself enrolled in uh, asap and be serious about it be committed to it and it's uh, I'm confident that it's going to pay off. it's a it's a worthwhile investment now if you've watched this and you're thinking that's exactly the kind of step that I want to take, building confidence with schematics, control panels and real world project skills so I can also land a position as a controls engineer or even start my own business, you can find a link in the description to see how we might be able to help you do the same. And if you'd like to connect with Ahmad, I put his LinkedIn profile in the description too. See you on the next video.